Welcome all, I am S. Jay Bharati from BCA Department, KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science Autonomous. Today, I am going to discuss about text data mining. Before entering into the text data mining, what are the contents you are going to see about data mining, importance of data mining, text mining, text mining techniques, natural language processing and types of natural language processing. Next, we are going to see about data mining. So data mining is nothing but you are extracting, you are analyzing, you are searching a large amount of data. So data is nothing but it is a meaningless information. So when we are gathering the meaningless information into a information by extracting the old information into a new information. So data mining is used to extract all different types of data into a data mining process. Process. Next, uh, knowledge discovery database. It is one of the main word we are using in a data mining. This knowledge mining you are gathering the data in a knowledge discovery database. So data mining is also known as KDD that means knowledge discovery in database. So in a database a, either in a traditional or in an operational you are storing a large amount of data in a raw format. There is no meaning so all the data are stored in a raw format. All the raw format data are to be converted into an information. So that in that type of information is called as a data mining process. Next, data mining have a several types of processing are involving that. For example, many algorithms are used like Nave Bayes algorithm, support vector machines algorithm, machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms. So these algorithms are used to transmit the data into information. Next, we are going to see about the data mining process. This picture depicts how the data mining process involves. Already I told data is considered to be a raw data that means there is no information that means there is no meaning. So that data is selected by the target data. So here the selection process is undergoing. So the raw data are to be selected by any one of the data process here that process are selected that is considered to be a target data and after the target data was accomplished here the next one is pre-processed data so here the pre-process actions are to be done so how the pre-process are to be done here so the algorithms are taken out whichever the data is useful whichever the data is relevant to the data mining process that data are to be enhanced in the pre-processed data. After the pre-processed data, the next one is transformed data. So the transformed data is considered to be the previous step of the data mining process because there are many various uh, process are to be done and at last you are getting a transformed data to see the visualization effects. And after transforming, the main process is to be done here is called as an data mining process. So here the data Data mining involves many algorithms are there. So according to the uh, customer needed, according to the projects needed, so you have to use the data mining algorithms. That algorithms which, which imp, uh, initialize the knowledge presentation. So that part, a pattern is considered to be an interpretation and evaluation and then lastly you are getting a knowledge here. So initially the data is a raw that means it can it is considered to be a meaningless information after confirming all the process you are getting a knowledge. Next you are going to see about deeply see about the text mining process. So I told data mining is considered to be a data that is turned into an information. So here a more number of enormous data are there in a social media for example like Twitter, Facebook, big data. So here more number of data are involved here. So that data to be mined by using the text mining. So text mining is also known as text data mining. So here what is the main core of text mining is you are making a process of 
unstructured data into a structured data. That means the data is not in a proper way. So you have to take out the data whichever is relevant for the mining process and that data is to be transformed into a structured format. And next step, uh, there are different types of uh, algorithms are using here, machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms and many learning algorithms are there to convert into a text mining process. And this picture depicts the text mining process. So this text mining is considered to be a text here. Already in the data mining process, I told about the data. Data is nothing but you are having an proper information. So here the text is also considered to be a same. That means there will be a no information here. And that text is make the next step of pre-processing here. The same like many algorithms are there to make to make out the pre-process here and that pre-processing are to be confirmed into a text transformation. So the text transformation means we are using the selection process here. So whatever the data you are going for the next step you are going to select in this third stage and next one is feature selection. So generation and selection are to be doing a same process. So the data which is relevant are selected there and next one is data mining that means pattern discovery. So you are finding out whichever the patterns are visualized, whichever the data you needed for the mining process that are to be taken in a visualization. And last one is interpretation and evaluations. So at last we are getting the interpretation and evaluation of the text mining. So these are the various process involved in in the text mining. Normally in a database a large number of data to be stored. So a text is one of the common data format we are following. That it may be audio, it may be an video or animation or a normal text. There are many different types of data sets are available in a database. So that text is the basic structure of the database. So that text to be avoided by the uh, structured and unstructured and semi-structured. So there are three types of are there to be divided. First one is structured data. The name itself you are having is structured. That means all the different types of data are to be available in a tabular format. That means consist of rows and columns. Take for example in an organization if an employee is entering into that organization we will get the data like uh, employee ID, employee name, employee salary and then address, phone number. So all the details are to be gathered and stored in a database of an organization. So that database is considered to be a structured data. So whatever the employee hold the information, it is stored in a normal database with a tabular format that means consists of rows and columns. So it is a properly structured format. Next one is semi-structured format. The name itself whole it is a semi-structured that means it is a blend between the structured and unstructured format. Take the same example in an organization if an employee enters into the organization initially we get only a sum data. That data will not accompany all the information about that, about that employee. So initially we will get some information and then immediately the next month we will again uh, adapt the other information. So the information are to be entered one by one. So next month we will get a full information. So semi-structured means it has to be done in a, no, not in a initial stage itself. It has to be updated each and every day. The third one is unstructured data. The name itself it holds it's an unstructured that means there is no proper structure are there take the same example uh, organization so in an organization if an employee is there only if you get the employee id and remaining data are not there it is not stored in a proper database means we cannot get the information of the employee so whatever the information to be stored about that employee is considered to be a record so each and every record consists of a tabular columns with rows and columns that indicates the uh, full record of the employee text to mining techniques. So there are, main, there are various techniques are there. So that techniques are to be involved for the data mining and text mining process. The first one is information retrieval. So already I told data is converted into one information that information to be extracted or to be retrieved. So how we are going to retrieve the information I told about the database. So database is nothing but in an organizational database or an 
institutional database or a relational database or operational database there are different types of database are there so whatever the data regarding that informations are stored by using the algorithms we are going to retrieve the data tokenization so tokenization the word token is the so if you are having a long sentence that long sentence is breaking into a small sentence or small words that each and every word are considered to be a tokens so in case if you are giving any comments about the uh, product or about any suppliers or any customers we will give a text or uh, we will give in a sentence uh, feedback will be in a sentence so each and every sentence are divided into a tokens that will be easy to categorize the data the next one is stemming stemming is nothing but you are going to uh, prefix and suffix you are going to divide the prefix and suffix data so if you have a long sentence if we use the prefix and suffix we will get a root word there so by that also we are going to analyze the text mining process natural language processing so natural language processing is one of the major technique used in a machine learning algorithms so the humans can able to understand the human problems but the system cannot able to understand that the system can able to understand only the machine language so the human uh, in interaction the human informations are to be interacted are to be selected by the natural language processing so the many type of disciplines are followed here for example computer science data science linguistic and vocabulary so all the grammatical mistakes also can be used in the natural language processing summarization so summarization is nothing but if you are giving a long comments that long comments are to be compressed into a short comments so whatever the points you needed for categorize them only those points are to be summarized there so because of that what is the text mining doing you are having a long number of or large number of details are there that to be compressed into a summarization way the next one is part of speech tagging so part of speech tagging means that uh, it is a grammatical way when you are giving the text in a syntactic or semantic way the grammar is very very useful we are when we are summarizing or when we are categorizing using the text mining process we have to uh, differentiate into a noun verb adverb adjective so that is to be very important we should not avoid that because of that grammatical only we are going to categorize that text categorization text categorization we are uh, categorize into based on the text that means if you are going for organization we have to use only the employee and what are the products and what are the suppliers only that informations are categorized there either we go for an institution we are going to see about the students then uh, their uh, their projects and then uh, staff faculties only that data to be stored there so we are categorizing into a text of whatever that depends upon so these are the ways and last one is sentiment analysis sentiment analysis is the trending here nowadays when we buy any product or any project from other companies or from any marketing uh, social media so we will give some of the comments for example amazon and then flipkart if you are buying any product and after using the product we are giving some comments to that Uh, product we are using any text format or we are using any emoji symbol uh, we are we are giving the feedback like this but we have to categorize the feedback whether it is a positive feedback or whether it is a negative or whether it is a neutral we have to categorize that feedback so for that mining also this sentiment analysis very very useful so totally in this video i told about the different types of text mining process because text mining is one of the major area in the data mining so i told about the data mining process and text mining process and in the next video we can see elaborately about the text mining process thank you